students respond to flu cases on campus, while more possible H1N1 cases are popping up in other parts of the region as well. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Nicole Kahn. Thanks for joining us tonight. One case is just leading to another. There are now close to 10 more cases of possible H1N1 flu suspected in Tippecanoe and surrounding counties. Julie Kreisen is live at the Tippecanoe County Health Department in Lafayette. She joins us now with details. Julie? Well, Jeff and Nicole, Purdue University is now reporting 67 suspected cases of H1N1. That's up 20 from yesterday. The Lafayette School Corporation is also reporting one suspected case, and Benton Community School Corporation is reporting seven suspected cases. Here to talk to us about H1N1 is Tippecanoe County Health Administrator Ron Kripe. Ron, tell me what your thoughts are about the 20 new cases today. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised at the new uh, findings. Uh, you know, we knew the virus was here last spring, and we knew it was here over the summer. It never uh, went away. And as fall and winter approaches, we, we certainly expect those numbers to increase. And with all the Purdue cases, is there any chance Purdue could close, and who would make that decision? Uh, right now, that's certainly not on the radar screen. Uh, you know, if in fact, whether it be Purdue or any school, you have to really take them on a case-by-case -case basis and also look at, in fact, if the second wave of H1N1 does come in, does it come in more virulent, meaning having severe symptoms than what we're seeing now? So we would just have to factor everything in, we being uh, the local health department working with Dr. Judy Monroe, who is the Indiana State uh, Health Commissioner. And the cases so far right now have been mild, right? Uh, yeah, uh, so what we've been finding out or have been hearing is that uh, people are recovering. Uh, you know, they've had the fever and the cough, but uh, as long as they're containing themselves, uh, staying at home, drinking plenty of fluids, and taking, uh, you know, some pain relievers, uh, they should be fine. Okay. And what's being done with students that have the flu right now at Purdue? Uh, to my knowledge, they are just being told to contain themselves. Um, and they're telling, you know, use good personal hygiene. Um, you know, nothing is important. We're saying, you know, stay in your dormitory or wherever you may live but you know if, if you have severe symptoms like difficulty breathing or you have a fever and it comes back even higher the second time then you probably ought to seek uh, some medical attention okay thanks ron i appreciate you meeting us out here and those suspected cases at, of h1n1 at purdue are forcing students to take notice joe lepage went to campus to see how life has changed one day later purdue senior chris vanja Veles walks to class den pop in hand they're pretty popular, you know, they're pretty cheap. Baja Veles has his hand sanitizer, too. He's kept it in his backpack even before 47 suspected H1N1 cases made headlines. Every time I touch a computer, put some hand sanitizer on, uh, go to the bathroom, wash my hands as much as I can, you know, try to stay away from people that are coughing. He didn't use it after leaving the discount den, where you buy the den pop. I didn't think about that just now. Din Pop is just ice and soda, but a lot of people buy them. That's a lot of hands touching foam cups, lids, and straws. And touch is just one way H1N1 is spread. Manny Cervantes works on campus. He says as students walk to class, a fine line also has to be towed. You got to strike that balance between like alarming people, but also keeping people informed. You know, you don't want it to, to be alarmist, but you want to let people know that there was a case on campus. Until more information is known about this flu strain, expect to see more items like disinfecting spray, wipes, and hand sanitizers fly off campus shelves. Thank you very much. Page, News Channel 18. Now, Discount Den owner Darla Rothenberger says she stocks sanitizing wipes, sprays, and lotions, and she'll order more if needed. And also, Purdue wants to warn students if you are sick or you have flu like symptoms, you can call the Purdue Student Health Center at 494 1700. That's open weekdays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and weekends from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Reporting live from the Tippecanoe County Health Department, Julie Kreisen, News Channel 18. Okay, thanks, Julian. Meantime, in Bloomington, the Indiana University Health Center says it has two possible cases of the H1N1 flu, both since the fall semester got underway. Both students live in off-campus apartments. IU says it is preparing for more cases of H1N1. It bought 35,000 medical masks last spring. The school also installed additional hand sanitizer throughout campus and is waiving the need for a doctor's note if a student misses class.